This guy's name is The Molten. He's got a ton of HP and a couple cool new mechanics. Oh, forget me now, absolutely, thank you. So Molten starts with five base hearts and he is stacked up, ready to go. He is the wall. He also starts with what could possibly be the lowest starting speed I've ever seen for a single character. 0.43, my goodness. Bro gives the turtle a head start. So this character's got some cool new mechanics. First of all, it seems they have some form of fire mind, right? I have igniting abilities for my enemies, as well as the Aquarius trail that I leave behind, right? That's kind of fire minded as well. Self-explanatory, right? Their tiers are also fairly unique. If a tier hits an enemy and it kills them, and the tier does more damage than the enemy health that was left, then it's gonna go through them. Uh, think a la like uh, Polyphemus, right? Where Poly does a giant tier and it barrels through someone and then the remaining amount of damage on the tier is just staying there, right? So this character has the ability to do that on top of Fire Mind, on top of Aquarius, and he also has the ability to do one more extra super stupidly cool thing in which I press Q and slap my thighs together and create a goddamn sound quake in which it demolishes every single enemy known to man. What I wouldn't give to own this ability. Dingleberry is very good. So this character just came out on the workshop and I was thinking it was going to be super cool. And so far from what I've seen, this character is unironically awesome. I can already see a lot of potential here, right? Seismic Stomp has a ton of potential because it creates an earthquake allowing you to break open a bunch of different rocks. Thanks to the free bombs. And Earthquakes, god that character art is so cool. Earthquakes always open secret rooms, so assuming that you have half a heart, you can always use Seismic Stomp in order to find your secret rooms. Because Seismic Stomp does hurt you by like half a heart, as you can see, boom. But it's always worth if you uh, manage to use it correctly, right? Ace of Spades, we can just take this and then I think we'll go down for. Now the first thing I want to check out more than anything is, hopefully this is true, I see no reason why this wouldn't be, if I use Seismic Stomp, does it count as self red heart damage, right? I now no longer want to do this because I picked up Black Candle, but when I get a chance, I'll test it. Since all self damage does not count towards losing deal chance, right? I I'm assuming since I'm pressing Q and hurting myself, it's going to count as self damage. Mom's Eye is okay, but I'll take the blind and I get Linger Bean. I've never regretted this decision faster in my life. There are a lot more keys there than I was expecting. I saw about two enemies. I got way more than I bargained for, but thank you. Okay, so let's test out Seismic Stomp on Little Blub. How much damage are you truly dealing with this little pocket active? I'm looking for my perfect opportunity. Hold on. Right here. Boom. Oh my god, it killed him! <laughs> I mean, that was the end goal after all, right? You wanted to kill him? But I- Wow, okay, cool. We get a moon card here. We can actually just use this right away. I'm not gonna go Devils. Wow, Rune Bag is super good. And the reason I'm not gonna go Devils is mainly because I want to keep my HP as high as possible to abuse Seismic Stomp. So instead, I'm feeling more Angel Room Gaming today. So right now, we are obviously moving at a complete snail's pace, right? We are not moving fast enough. Our speed needs to go higher. That is not speed, but I will not complain, my god. Right now, we're kind of having a leisurely stroll. I'm thinking more I want to skedaddle, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm talking full on Looney Tunes, Bugs Bunny, Tom and Jerry. I gotta go full speed. Oh, right there you can see it a little bit. I think it's because we got a damage up, right? It's hard to tell, but as you saw right there, I was able to one-shot those flies, and since I had damage left over on my tier, just like Polyphemus as we mentioned earlier, it kind of just pierces through, which is sick. Is it safe to say that this character starts with Polyphemus? Absolutely not, but I think it's funny to think about that, so I'm gonna- that's my head cannon. <laughs> Ow! Wait, did I not lose deal chance or did I read- No, I had a, a rotten heart, right? Yeah, I had a rotten heart, never mind. I was about to say, there's no way your self damage fire mine counts. So let's test it out. Boom. We lost. What? I didn't think it would happen. I was fully expecting like, oh, I'm gonna get an angel. No biggie. I'm just gonna showcase this off, right? Excuse me? I just got scammed. I even have to use the soul heart thing right now because I am a low crawl space as well. Okay. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm actually not gonna think this is a bad thing. I think this is a design choice, right? And, and I like it actually. Can this guy get hit? Who knows? Oh my god! Because you can't just use Seismic Stomp, half a heart, immediate bomb, and gonga damage as much as you want, right? That's just not fair. Tying it to red heart damage is actually super smart, so uh, that's what I'm gonna say. Also, Skinny Odd Mushroom was a great pickup. Spelunky? Uh, this would be great with Seismic Stomp. Even with the things that I just mentioned, right? It still is gonna be super useful for me to know where all my secret rooms are. So, yeah, I'll take it. 
and dad's key was no bueno. Another shop here, more options are great. That's actually the wrong item name, but there's so many of them that I don't care. <laughs> Blow up Wormwood, let's just get the site over with, and then we get a range up and a speed up. The choice here is obvious, the blue pill. I've actually never watched the Matrix to be honest with you. All right, another Wormwood fight. I'm also gonna speed through this one, right? We just hit him with maybe three, four tiers. Uh, actually, he just instantly retreated. What the hell is wrong with you? How dare you? You can't do that. That's not fair. Eat this bomb. Bro! They're getting smarter by the day, I swear, dude. Neural net processor type of computer. Uh, between these, typically I would appreciate meat more because of the HP, but I really want extra damage more than anything. Vault in here. Uh, this looks like extra spicy deal chance to me. Six hearts go to the demon beggar who gives me a magician and hopefully something extra. Pretty please? Uh-oh. Another judgment? Okay, uh, give me an HP up. Perfect. HP and HP, which gets fed back into this guy. This guy paid out with a judgment purely so that he could steal. <laughs> This guy's genuinely evil, right? He paid me back with an item that was specifically made for me to lose money in which I get hearts so that he could profit even more. What a business mastermind this guy is. He didn't even pay out either. I, I gave him like 12 hearts. Ow. Okay, this has got to be huge. We get both types of mushrooms. I don't actually see that very often, so that's good. A little bit of a heal as well. What do you think it feels like to get turned into a key? <laughs> I imagine not that good, right? Uh, I don't know, maybe there's some benefits like health insurance or something, we don't know. Magic mushroom hole. Oh, I'm hoping every single day, every single day I go to bed and I think to myself, tomorrow will be the day where I blow up a random mushroom and magic will be right there. It hasn't happened yet, but if you stop believing, then where's the fun? For the first time ever, I'm actually gonna buy a red heart from the shop. Blasphemous, I know, but I feel like this character really shines with as much HP as possible, right? I'm gonna try and make it to the boss as soon as possible so I can land this basically 100% deal chance and I will die if for some reason I don't get it. And once we land, hey, it's... A cousin? I don't know what you guys' relationships are, but you guys look familiar. <laughs> you guys look really, really similar, I don't know. If we're able to defeat this boss without getting hit and landing the deal, then I can start using Seismic Stomp more offensively, which is what I'm hoping for. Ow! What the hell? Every time! <laughs> Gideon's been on something recently, guys. I'm telling you. At least we did get the deal. Very good. What the hell? I didn't actually see that. That's like a complete skill issue, but whatever. What about in here? Dead Sea Scrolls. What the heck? We don't need this. Let me check if Seismic Stomp can open the angel rooms. It should. Good. Now let's see how much damage it can also really do. Boom. Uh, not that much. What? <laughs> To be fair, Blub doesn't have that much HP, but that was very minimal. I'm gonna try one more time. Oh wow, yeah. Maybe it's not a very good offensive ability then. That's good to know though. I think it's more used for utility, right? You spend half a heart and you effectively get a bomb, really. And that's why we experiment. That's good to know. Now I know I should not spam that against like Mega Satan or something. Perhaps maybe better on mobs or regular enemies. We can double check. Boom. Ah, uh, I mean, it didn't one-shot them, but they are left to be basically one-shot. I think it's just an extra utility tool that you can have. Uh, but we check what's in here. Camo undies are super strong. I feel like these would take care of my tears down. Even for a little bit, right? Yeah, like, th th it's gonna help. It's gonna give me speed as well. And I'll also use Seismic Stomp here to open the secret room just because it's gonna spend only half a soul heart. I'll still have it left over. We blow up that little keeper dude with camo undies to increase our deal chance. And I think we're gonna go fight the boss. This is looking pretty good, actually. You know what? I bet that's actually what's going on, right? Now that I give it a second thought, the reason I'm not able to get any more tears is because I basically have an invisible polyphemus you know how poly works right there's only so much tears you can have with poly and that's probably what's happening here right i can absolutely see that being the reason why i'm unable to get extra tier rate oh horse pill all the pills in the world actually hold on you are infested this is an hp up which is great health down goodbye to that hp up that was great <laughs> Another puberty pill. What is the horse pill? We're all wondering. Look up! And we'll take the gold pill with us. Kind of off topic, but someone asked me, how do you know if it's a luck up penny or not? There's a little slight like green tinge to it. Just thought I'd throw that out there because I was reading comments before I started recording, right? And someone asked that. And I don't know why I didn't just reply to them directly. To be fair, that would have been easier. <laughs> but there you go. Now you know. Reap Creep, how you doing? Don't worry guys, Linger Bean will get them. I cannot wait for the patch only because I know for a fact, whoops, skill issue by the way, that Linger Bean will most definitely be getting buffed, right? Let's be real. Edmund asked for what items are bad. We told him what items are bad. Across basically every list that we got, Linger Bean was somewhere there. I cannot wait to see what they do with that item. 
another secret, another gamble. This time we get Nickel Triforce, very based of you video game. And what about the shop next to you? Uh, we know we have decent pills. I'll take five cents for a pill, right? Yeah, look, look up, perfect. Completely worth. In fact, I think this is worth actually. Boom, relax, absolutely not. <laughs> you know how long it took me for me to figure out that relax was basically a pun on like laxatives, right? Like relax laxatives. I, I, it took me years, genuinely. I don't think I figured out until last year. <laughs> Uh, blind? Perfect, this is actually spun. Good. I actually have complete power over Adrenaline right now. Adrenaline is actually gonna give us stuff, which is crazy because we have a primarily Red Heart build, right? Adrenaline always giving you extra damage when you have missing Red Hearts. And that seems to be what this character has been playing out for me, honestly, so this is perfect. I've never, ever, ever played a single character or run where I can genuinely say, like, oh, nice, Adrenaline. This is gonna work perfectly, but this character is working for it, so I'm super happy, actually. I do not want to be forgetting about my big man seismic stomp thunderclap thighs there we go beggar but as we move on to what will probably be the womb and onwards right it's gonna be more and more hard to really justify using seismic stomp for bombs just because i imagine it's gonna you know cost a full heart and that's just nothing i can sacrifice all right, Siren Fight. Make sure our cami undies are procced. That is something about the camo undies. That kind of bothered me, right? If you walk into a room, and sometimes there's this misconception that it's only boss rooms, but it's all rooms, and you just hold down the shoot button, for some reason, camo undies will just not proc. And that's because you actually need to specifically have camo undies work first and then shoot. So like, oh wow, I'm invisible. Now I can do the camo on these things. But if I walk in here right away, it's just not gonna tr uh, trigger at all, right? So keep that in mind if you're wondering where your camo on these are not working. Also, apparently that's intentional according to the literal code of the game. So <laughs> if you're mad about it, literally cry about it. More devil beggars. Honestly, I'm super down. This is the perfect opportunity. Adrenaline will pop off. I've been getting a bunch of lovers cards for some reason. I know my pills are halfway decent this run. What makes you small is a enormous as ironic as being enormous for a one makes you small can be and we'll go oh it tears up too i didn't really do anything i don't think but i got the satisfaction of it showing up ow dude okay listen all right listen <laughs> in my head i'm thinking okay if i shoot one tear at this guy there is absolutely no way it's gonna explode in my face I can't believe it. I hate it. <laughs> and then, you know what I decided to do? I decided to take the risk a second time. I regret it immediately. Poop Bridge lands me a devil deal. It wouldn't be bad to lock in here, actually, because I do have Gupster, right? Uh, do I really even want one of these, though? I feel like I should just keep my options open. Those are kind of meh. Oh, but Soul Hearts instead? I will take that, thank you. It is actually kind of fun playing with Adrenaline. I know no one has ever said that before in their life, and whenever they see Adrenaline, they just think to themselves, oh, nice, a spun. However, the one time I've been able to kind of effectively use it here, due to my Red Heart build, it's actually been kind of fun. Micromanaging from uh, low HP constantly, back to high HP, but then I want to get low again because I want the damage, you know. What's that? It's really fun, actually. Final treasure room. Uh, Shoutouts to Fruity Plum Guy, wherever you are in the world. I uh, don't need these, though. Ooh, spun entirely? 100%. Plus it's the speed up, right? Nice. Oh, nice. Actually, really good. So, throughout the entire run, we're finally on Gehenna Dose, and we have finally made it to nearly base speed. Let's go, dude. Cool stuff. Okay, let's go up today, and then we'll take the Soul Heart, and we'll get our guaranteed deal for the next floor. Is it guaranteed? I think it's 70%, actually. Oh, no, it's guaranteed. Okay, let's not lose this. Oh, well, you know, bookworm progress, right? Oh, well, we'll never get it ever again. It's not gonna be another 30 tries until he shows that item. We know how the Devil Shell Game Beggar goes, right? He either never shows you it at all, or he shows you it within the first try. You won't get it, and then you'll never receive it. Luckily, it isn't that good of an item, so I don't care too much. I will just leave. Whoa, a little bit of a powerhouse Molten is, right? What was that? That was pure, unadulterated damage. That is kind of what the thing is, is about this run, right? The thing about this run, if you really think about it, is we don't have anything crazy. This is just pure character. This is the character. I have stats, and I have Fire Mine, which he starts with, and the Aquarius Lava Trail that he starts with, and that's it. So we're working with vanilla gameplay here, right? Which is actually sick. I, I really appreciate that. 
Ooh, hello. Gives us a, a look into how the character would feel on an average run, right? A little scared of a womb to tiny room, but it looks like we're okay. Ooh, soul of Bethany is large as well. Okay, room bag's definitely been helping me out here, right? So breaking news, the craziest thing just happened. You guys ever see Breaking Bad? There's this crazy episode where there's the, uh, the main, okay, listen. <laughs> The main character goes crazy because there's a fly and there's just and there's no reason to do anything else except catch this fly, right? Well, guess what? That fly is making a cameo on the Lazy Batman channel currently. <laughs> My man is buzzing around trying to go for Beelzebub transformation. Get out of here, dude. Oh, another per throw from here? I might just use it on the deal that I have guaranteed. Assuming I don't get hit, but I, I won't. It's just it lives, right? Oh, God, please don't hit me. Okay, cool. We got a devil, which is the lesser chance, but interesting still. Ooh, actually, not bad. I mean, well, actually... <laughs> Ooh, is it? I mean, Dead Cat's broken. It's GG. We get 2-3 Guppy, right? But then we lose out on Adrenaline. What the hell am I talking about? Who the hell cares about Adrenaline? <laughs> Did I become emotionally attached to Adrenaline in the past 20 minutes? I don't- who cares about that item? Focus up! The Gupster's right there! Well, that was epic. <laughs> Let me try that room again. <laughs> no! Winston's fading! No! Winston, don't do this to me! <laughs> Don't leave! Don't let the flame die out! Ooh, a soul heart drop? Okay, with that, I will cash out my uh, monkey's paw Winston black hearts that dropped and take these all together, and this will be my major life, right? We'll use the secret room to skip part of the map, and that way we can get to the boss faster, that way we can get to the chest faster, and then use the per throw. Would it be selfish to use seismic stomp here and die just so I can get the secret room? Maybe, but it's sick, so I'm doing it. Winston is now gone forever. I've never been more depressed in my life. Goodbye, Winston. You fought a very good fight. A fight for Overwatch. <laughs> now, I don't really want to alarm anyone. But I have to say, guys, I think this might be the real Binding of Isaac from the hit game Binding of Isaac. Can I have your autograph? I'm a huge fan. So far, this character has presented me with a bunch of cool, new, unique ideas, as well as a bunch of challenge, actually. It's been super fun. I hope we can close out the win. I'm at a 100% try hard here on this last floor so we can maybe close it out. All right, good stuff. The stakes are high. Let's see what we get. Okay, boom, bang. Oh god. I'll take the mom's context, I suppose, but then I'm rolling these. Uh, tiny planet, hushy, and what the hell? Wow, okay, game is, uh, it wants it to be a challenge. Understood. I mean, how am I gonna forget me now this floor? I don't even feel powerful enough to do it one time. Oh my god, like, how am I supposed to do that? Okay, hold on. Uh, let's not go in that direction. I might have to go in that direction. Uh oh. Let's try again. I'll take care of Fruity Plum first, maybe. Oh, okay. Okay, here's what I'll do. How about if I manage to get down to like two lives, I'll forget me now and then reset. So maybe I can get more items. That way the chest seems even feasible. Luckily, I finally got rid of this room though. Item, something good, Mega Bean, oh, but not too useful. I, you know what, I guess it is useful. I could use it while trying to clear the chest. I think Mega Bean is the best bean item, right? That thing is broken. Freezes all enemies, earthquake, fart damage. Like that's just powerful right there. Powerhouse item for real. So let's run it for now, since there's no reason to just carry on and forget me now. Ooh, Soul of Apollyon is huge. This is gonna help us clear out this big room, hopefully. I wanna kill- oh! I wanna kill Gluttony first because Gluttony has a chance to drop health items, right? Soul hearts or even a less than three, which could be game changing for me. Large reveal? Uh, a regular hearts, nothing crazy. Number one. <sighs> I can't get any more tears ups, can I? But what is my range, hello? Uh, I don't think I can get any more tears up. This is a stupid risk. I just took a fat damage down, but it's actually not that huge to be honest with you. So I don't mind too much. The reason I did that was just because I wanted to see if there really is just a maximum amount of tears you can get. And if I took number one and my tears did not go up, I think it's safe to say that if you if you play with this character, 2.61 is the best you're gonna get. Oh my god, there's the boss. We're gonna kill Sloth last here, which is good. Sloth will always drop some form of card, which are broken, right? Could be huge, it could be minuscule. Grand reveal, it's pretty good. Bum friend as well. Oh no! Oh, 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 oh. Let's kill Famine first, hold on. I didn't even use cam on these correctly. Oh, wow, what a magnitude play by War. Trans-dimensional type of calculations from War. He knew for a fact that bomb would hit me. Cool stuff. Oh, fortune tellers say less. Give me all the soul hearts known to man. Uh, what? I just got scammed. Is this what it's like to have a fortune teller in real life? <laughs> 
What? I can't have nothing. I have never seen so many different things explode. I can't believe it. I, I really can't. I've never had that happen to me ever. That has literally never happened to me in the history of Isaac, the entire time I played this game. The five slot super secret room just casually exploding for coins. Well, I'm gonna try and lock in my blue baby kill right now. And if I'm lucky, I can get the kill and then we'll forget me now afterwards. If I'm not, well, well, that's tough, isn't it? I always feel like the first and second phases of blue baby are the hardest. They're the hardest. Do I forget me now right now? Oh man, I feel like I can't beat it. I'm gonna forget me now. This is gonna be a bit of a weird one. I don't usually do this, but I feel like I really want to try and secure this win and I'm gonna do anything possible. Let's try and do this again. We're gonna get four free items by doing this. Again, again. Oh my god, real- what? <laughs> Where's the items? Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Best bud is okay. This item is actually an orbital. When you just pick it up, it just is an orbital. So that's good. And uh, we now have a super far trek to the boss. Uh-oh. Time to focus up, ladies and gentlemen. We're about to be in a wild ride. This is this is terrible. That's GG. No, there's no way. I, there, I had no counterplay, right? Hold on. Let me try. My speed is too low for double ad- <laughs> Oh, wow. Actually a challenging character though, right? Wow, that was good. GG's. That was really fun. All right. Well, good luck on whatever you guys are up to. I love you guys. GG.